As a young woman fresh out of college, I was eager to make some extra cash and jumped at the opportunity to babysit for a wealthy family in their luxurious mansion. At first, everything seemed perfectly normal. The house was massive, with multiple floors and rooms that seemed to go on for miles. The children were well behaved, the house was immaculate, and the parents were friendly and accommodating, however, as the weeks went by, I began to notice strange occurrences around the house. Doors would be locked with no explanation, strange noises echoed from the basement, and on occasion, I would catch a glimpse of beautiful young girls wandering the halls in a dazed state. The parents seemed to disappear, leaving me alone with the children in the vast, eerie mansion. I heard strange noises coming from the basement, and when I went to investigate, I discovered a secret door that led to a hidden underground chamber. My suspicion was confirmed when I stumbled upon a hidden room in the basement, filled with cages and restraints. The girls I had seen were being held captive, forced into human trafficking by the very family I had trusted to provide me with a job. I was horrified and terrified for my own safety as well. I knew I had to act fast to save the girls and get myself out of harm's way. But I was frozen with fear, not knowing what to do or who to turn to for help. The wealthy family I had trusted was actually the one behind this heinous operation. And I was now a witness to their crimes, I knew I had to get the girls out of there and bring their captors to justice, but I was terrified for my own safety. I knew that if I made any wrong move, I could end up like those poor girls, trapped in that dark and desolate basement. With a pounding heart and shaking hands, I stealthily returned upstairs, pretending I hadn't found anything. Over the next few hours, I carefully observed the family's movements, trying to figure out a way to rescue the kidnapped girls without putting myself in danger. As the night grew darker, I knew I couldn't wait any longer. I needed help, someone I could trust to expose this horrifying truth, I decided to confide in my best friend, Sarah, who was known for her bravery and resourcefulness. I managed to discreetly text her, informing her about the situation without revealing too many details. To my relief, she responded immediately, assuring me that she would come to the house and help me save those innocent girls. With Sarah's arrival, we devised a plan to distract the parents while she searched the house for evidence. I would stay with the children, ensuring they were safe while Sarah gathered enough information to expose the criminals. It was a risky move, but it was our only chance to stop this nightmare. As the night stretched on, Sarah found shocking evidence that confirmed the family's involvement in the trafficking ring. Armed with the proof, she contacted the authorities and requested their immediate assistance. We had to ensure that they arrived discreetly, as any premature action could endanger the lives of those innocent girls, time seemed to slow as we waited for the authorities to arrive. Every second felt like an eternity, but finally, the police and an undercover team surrounded the house. Sarah and I guided them to the hidden basement entrance, revealing the horrifying truth that lay beneath the opulent facade of the wealthy mansion, the traffickers were caught red-handed and the kidnapped girls were rescued from their nightmarish ordeal. Relief washed over me as I witnessed the traffickers being led away in handcuffs. Justice was finally served for those innocent victims, and they could now start their journey towards healing and recovery. The wealthy family's true nature was exposed to the world, and they faced the full consequences of their monstrous actions. The incident sent shockwaves through society, reminding everyone that evil could lurk behind the most polished facades. In the aftermath, I received therapy and support to help me cope with the trauma of what I had witnessed. Despite the horrors I experienced, I found strength in knowing that I played a role in stopping the trafficking ring and rescuing those girls. Life moved on, and I vowed never to forget the faces of those brave young girls who endured unimaginable suffering. I became an advocate for victims of human trafficking, dedicating my life to raising awareness and fighting against this heinous crime. Although the scars of that experience would always be with me, I also learned the power of courage, friendship, and determination. No longer a naive babysitter, I had grown into a fierce protector of those who couldn't defend themselves, and I would never back down from fighting for what was right.